All right, uh, hello everyone. I've uh, I've never done this before. This is my first, I guess you could call it a let's play. I'm just gonna be playing through uh, playing through title mode. I think I'm gonna play as Chael Sonnen. Uh, yeah, I was gonna play Grand Theft Auto 4 tonight, and I want to do a let's play of Grand Theft Auto 4. But uh, I actually let a friend borrow it, and I forgot. So, yeah, just going to be playing some UFC 3 because I like UFC 3. Uh, I'm actually playing this. I just bought a uh, diamond capture card, so I think I'm going to start doing Let's Plays. Thinking since someone has my copy of Grand Theft Auto 4, I might do Bully, Scholarship Edition. Maybe even, I don't know, Fallout New Vegas. I got Red Dead Redemption. Something like along those lines. I have a lot of games. Skip that. Yeah, I don't assume too many people are going to watch this video in particular. It's not like this is the uh, most popular game in the world. Especially not now. It's been a long time since it's come out. Not a super long time, but it came out last year. Uh, of course... THQ shut its doors recently, so EA has licensing to make the next UFC game, so we'll see what that's like. I have high hopes on that. I just think, uh, I don't know, I like this game's gameplay. A lot of people don't, but I do. And just to show you something right now. This is kind of embarrassing. It'll be in game record. Yeah, look at that, uh, look at that total play time. <laughs> Played this for almost 800 hours now. I don't know why I love this game so much. I just love the sport, and I think this is the best game on the market for any sort of UFC play. So we're going to do a uh, title mode. I've already completed it as him. I've completed it as a lot of fighters, because this is what I, you know, I'll just throw on a YouTube video and I'll watch this, or I'll play this while I watch it. That's what I use this game for. Just sort of a, you know, when I want to watch the longer videos on YouTube, I'll put this on. Maybe do Vanderlei. I think I'm going to do Chael, though. Chael, uh, not the biggest Chael Sonnen fan, but I love the way he talks. And uh, I think he's a great fighter to use in this game. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do Chael. Well, who haven't I done it with? Uh, Alan Belcher. I think I actually tried to and lost as Alan Belcher get through it as Chris Lieben, but uh, not Alan Belcher. These first few fights are pretty pretty easy. It gets harder as it progresses. Hope I don't get a game over. That'd be pretty embarrassing. The Let's Players Curse, as they call it. Uh, yeah, so I, I've never, never done this before, never done anything like this before. Uh, I've always wanted to, though, ever since I, uh, I watched... Good old Nintendo Capri Sun. I watched him play banjo. I watched that and I really wanted to get into it, but I never knew how. Finally, you know, got enough know how to say, okay, this is how I'm going to work a capture card and all that. And I turned 18 a few weeks ago and I figured that's good enough time as ever to start doing this. Got the uh, diamond capture card and record pad, I think it's called. I'm playing on my computer screen. I don't know if there's going to be any significant lag. I like to play as realistically as possible. I hope I put it on. I think I put it on expert. I'm not sure, though. So I try to wrestle a lot. No. Oof. Tried to wrap him up. Seems to be a little bit of lag, but nothing I can't work with. Oh, jeez. Push him up his cage and you hit him with a suplex. Who are they rooting? Are they rooting for me? That's right. Tap out on the butt. He doesn't have those big, cheap knees. I'm going to pass it now. Come on, there we go. 
Come on. There we are. Yeah, hit him with some elbows. Yeah. Put him in the arm triangle. Oh, I'm not going to hit it. Well, you never know. No, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not too great at doing submissions. Then <laughs> again, I am playing as Chael Sonnen. It's not like if you're going to do submissions. He's the best character to play as. Knock you out. You don't watch it back. Should have just let me get the TKO. I tend to use the X button more. So I tend to throw left hand. I tend to throw shots at the left hand more. Uh, I'll play more strategically as it goes on. I'm very bad at reversing transitions. I'm gonna stand this up. I'm gonna knock him out on the feet. I don't think he's gonna be able to stop me. Oh, tried to go straight. Uh, just hit him with it. All right, you can go into the second round. Pretty sure they're saying that um, I unanimously won that round. <laughs> I could to totally see that. I'm not hurt at all. I don't. I guess he touched me. I guess with a couple of jabs on the feet. Other than that, he really, really didn't have anything for me. Ah, uh, Chael Sonnen. Looks a little bit like him. It looks a little goofy, but. Oh, big elbow. Then I went for that arm triangle. Yeah, I completely dominated him. I need to mix up my ground shots. I haven't played this in a few weeks now. I was playing Grand Theft Auto V, and uh, I just got a Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis from a local retro shop. So I've been playing with those a whole lot. I've got a, I've got a decent-sized game collection. So, if anyone wants to request anything, and I have it, I'll play it. And if I don't have it, and it sounds interesting, I'll definitely look for it. Oof. Oh, come on. I was going for the takedown there. There we go. Just work him over in the guard a little bit. I like fighting the guard. I like, uh... Oh, come on. All right, all right. Play a little more. There we go. I like throwing these little tiny baby elbows. I think they're really nice looking. Oh, stack them. This is it. Yeah, that's it. I like I like playing as Chael Sonnen. I think I said this earlier because he's left-handed. I use my left hand on the controller a lot more because the X feels more comfortable. So it's always weird when I'm fighting as a right-handed fighter. I'll tend to use their left hand a whole lot. It looks kind of goofy. I myself am right-handed, but whenever I create a fighter on this game for a career or something, I always, always make it uh, make them left-handed fighters because it's just it. You know, every highlight shouldn't be me hitting them with my uh, with, with with not you know like every highlight knockout should come from the lead hand. That's what looks normal. Of course, they don't always do, but that's what looks normal and if every highlight comes from your your uh, the hand you have forward it looks a little funny one minute one second would that be because this is half time so that'd be 31 seconds or would that be 30 and a half seconds whatever uh, I think my fast knockout I should have looked at that I think in game time it's uh what, like eight nine eighteen seconds, so it's nine seconds uh real time. We got a flash knockout. I was Joe Daddy Stevenson fighting uh what what is it, Ross Pearson, is that how you say his name? Person? I don't know. He, the Brit. Uh he's got a fight coming up pretty soon now. Yeah, that was complete domination. Not as dominating as I would hope though. So Jorge Rivera. I've actually uh when I played through this as uh, Lieben, Jorge Rivera knocked me out. And I went on to be undefeated after that knockout. It was just really weird that he caught me. Of course, I'm playing with Le Lieben. I'm going to bang the entire time. I'm not going to fight like this. I'm not going to wrestle. I like to uh, I like to use guys 
like they fight in real life. So with Chael Sonnen, I like to wrestle a whole bunch, which is not the most exciting thing to watch, I'll, uh, I'll admit. But I think it's the most exciting way to play. I don't know, I really like utilizing good ground game. I'll try to mix it up when I have to. I might mix it up a little bit in this fight, but I don't want to get knocked out. And Jorge Rivera does have knockout power. Uh, actually, the only time I've seen him fight some other undercard guy, I forget his name, in real life, but I, the only notable fight I've seen him in is Bisbing. Uh, some body shots. Uh, I don't think he has it. I like the, the, yeah, he doesn't have it. The stepping jab is really cool to use. Oof. You already commit to throwing a punch. You can't just weave. Yeah. Oh, committed with a kick. Couldn't weave. And with a spinning back kick. Whoa. Jeez. See what I mean? He's got some hands. Uh, should just take him down. You know, real fighters, when they get in trouble on the feet, they'll throw, go for a takedown. I know. Oh. How about elbow? Little tiny elbows. There we go. When I get on top of them, I tend to not just step off of them unless I'm fighting a great jujitsu guy. I let them get me off of them. The only problem with that is these early guys don't do that. You know. Uh, trying to mix it up. I didn't know if he was going to catch it. Straight head kick. Oh, got him with a jab knockout. <laughs> that referee would be fired. <laughs> I've always thought that was funny. If Husmar Paul Harris gets fired for a, holding a leg lock a little too long, <laughs> that 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 referee would just be ended. Chael Sonnen would be out of the business. I mean, that that <laughs> was the most uncalled for extra shots I've ever seen. Make sure everything's recording still. So I'm worried. The first time I did a test uh, earlier, I was playing Mortal Kombat and I forgot to hit record on everything. 12 minutes. All right, everything's recording. I don't think I have a time limit on YouTube. If I do, then I'll then I'll then I'll have to edit this a little bit. But uh, I don't think I do. So I'm willing. I, I I don't know if a lot of people are like this, but I like watching long videos on YouTube. You know, like play a video game in the background, watch a long video on my uh, my laptop. It's pretty much what I always do uh, when I when I decide to watch YouTube. I hope I hope this all works out. This whole YouTube thing, I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. Uh, I, at first, I wanted to do reviews, but that's complicated. I had hard enough time figuring out how I was going to uh, gonna do the whole Let's Play thing, so... I don't know. And I'm not very well spoken. I can't read from a script very well. I mean, even now, I stutter a lot just talking in the Let's Play. You know, I can imagine what it would be like if I tried to... Oh, Jesus... I'm a wrestler fighting Husamar Paul. Rusamar. <laughs> it's not his name. Uh, anyway, I forget what I was saying. Yeah, I have a hard enough time speaking when it's not scripted. Scripted, I'd have to be. Uh, I've tried. I've written a bunch of reviews, but I just can't read them. Once thought about making a site for just uh, just written reviews. I'm sorry, I was listening to uh, listen to the commentary, which is funny because I, I, I've heard this commentary over and over again, and yet I still like it. I think it's very good commentary for a game. I think it does its job extremely well. You know, I'm not a big sportsman fan, 
Uh, well, I, I like football. I like UFC. Professional wrestling, I, I like for weird reasons. Uh, I like, with professional wrestling, I like, I don't know, I like the... I don't really get excited at matches, but I like watching and... Good God! And I like watching and trying to figure out what's, you know, how they pulled off a move or something. And, of course, the cheesy storylines. But uh, I don't have too many game references to compare it to because I don't buy new Maddens or anything like that. I have Madden 10. <laughs> Still play it. Uh, oh, come on. There was no way you stayed on me. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I don't have too many things to compare the commentary in this game to. But, uh, but I think it's good. Uh, I think it's better than wrestling games commentary, for the most part. I like the fact that it follows you. Like when you play something like this, it'll talk about how Chael Sonnen's on a winning streak. And you play through your, play through your career, it'll be like it was his first loss. Uh, a pretty good stand-up game. Try to pass. So you got to watch their hands. Oh, you dropped your hands. So you you should not fuck you. You shouldn't be blocking this. Transition. There we go. Stack up on him. Yeah. Oh, see, he's a jujitsu guy, so he's gonna catch the punches. Yeah, I connected. You might have caught it, but I connected. Yeah. Oh, finish the fight. Yeah, yeah, right before the bell. Mm, that was good. Son in. Yeah, that was that was decent. I, he didn't really... I guess, yeah, he did touch me. He was uh, in the beginning doing those head kicks, spinning head kicks. I actually really like uh, Husamar Paul Harris in this game. I think that uh, <laughs> they made his stand-up so good in this game with all the spinning kicks and everything. Uh, Chael Sonnen is very basic at stand-up, but it's good, you know, it's like you don't have to remember too much, you know, he's got the straight, he's pretty much got all the moves that he has in real life. Uh, some head kicks, you know, I don't like it when fighters don't have at least one head kicks. Uh, I think for stand-up, my favorite fighters, like classic pride, uh, Vanderlei. Two seconds left in the fight, <laughs> which in real time is one second left. Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn. I heard BJ Penn is going to have uh, guest coaches on. He's going to have because they're they're coaching the uh, the the Ultimate Fighter, and I heard he's going to have guest coaches on. BJ is he's going to have Boss Rutten and Mark Coleman and stuff. That's pretty epic. I don't know why I thought about that. I guess because I mentioned Pride Vanderlei. And Pride made me think about Mark Coleman and Boss Rutten, definitely. I like this sport a lot. This is my sport. I'm excited this Saturday's Dos Santos. Uh, Dos Santos Velasquez. Definitely going to be watching that. I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for, because if anybody else is a big MMA fan, they might give me some hate. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, I want Dos Santos to win. I like Dos Santos. I've followed him for a while. I guess he's just been around longer than Velasquez, so I grew to like him. Velasquez was kind of the new guy coming in. He's been around for a while now, though. I think Dos Santos should have had a title fight before he did. I don't really like Dos Santos' odds. Dos Santos' ah, Dos Santos' odds coming into this fight, though. He's a, uh, you know, on comparison, yeah, he's he, he can obviously knock out, knock out pretty much anyone in the heavyweight division. Uh, 
Yeah, because I would say maybe not Roy Nelson, but I think Mark Hunt has a stronger jaw than Roy Nelson. That's a good fight. I'd like to see that. So I think he can knock out just about anybody. Uh, but, of course, he got completely worked over in the last fight. So I'd say just come out swinging, come out trying to get the knockout in the first round. Because one thing I think that fight proved is that um, Velasquez really has trouble trying to stop Dos Santos, but Dos Santos just got beat up the entire fight. And I don't want to get hit with that big left. Yeah. Nice combos. Very arcadey. I might do something with uh, MMA. EA's MMA. That's a good game. And, y you know, I, I want to start playing that more so I can get used to it. So that when I play UFC, which is no doubt going to play like that, uh... I'll be prepared for it. Because uh, I like both. For a while, I said MMA was better, but it's just not. I said MMA was better than uh, than 2010. I never said MMA was better than than uh, UFC 3. UFC 3 is on the market right now. is the best MMA game. Actually, I have Supremacy MMA. Can I get you with a big suplex? Oh. I was curious if I could hit him with the... Uh, Thanks for uh, that. Now I'm on the ground. Good place to finish. You gave me a... Oh, come on. That I was holding. I remember when I learned how to hold them in place. I learned stuff about this game. Like, I, I recently learned how to reverse transitions. I'm just no good at it. I would trip him, right? No. I have a trip. Alright. Put, get double underhooks in. Oh, come on. This guy is just blocking my transitions. There we go. Man, he does not want to give this to me. Yes. That was nice. I didn't even know he had that. I've never done that before. Pop out. Oh. I love those elbows, the sweeping elbow across the face. I think it's great. The right-handed elbow when you have them there. That position, that's great. And they went leaving. <laughs> I guess they're just going for the underdog. Whoa, come out. Oh, just stay here. We mixed it up, but he got a little bit in the clinch, but that's pretty much it. Just didn't didn't mount any sort of an offense that's wor noteworthy. What do you mean I got nothing for him? Your opponent can't take too much damage to the head, but you don't see any bad areas. So pretty much I just fucking won. You'd think they'd say something about him blocking my uh, transitions and my takedowns. But they didn't. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that little... Bam, I love that elbow. I don't know why, I just think it looks nice. Like anyone with elbows and hammer fists on the ground, I think they, 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 those are the best ground offense. I'm going to step in and try to punch him. Nope. Oh, jeez. Come in and take down. Oh, I'm so bad at that. I don't figure out, I can't figure out how people, like, always get takedowns. Because I pretty much always take people down from the clinch. It's just the easiest. Oh, that was nice. Stay down. Do I have a major pass? Nope. Should have known that. I've already tried that. Uh, God. This is like a real Lieben fight, though. I mean, I love Chris Lieben, you know, the first season of The Ultimate Fighter. But uh, but he does tend to just get beat up and hang in there the entire time. I think I'm going to get the stoppage. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get any 
get any decisions. I usually get one or two when I play as a good wrestler. But like I said, I play realistically, and Chael Sonnen's always working on the ground. I think he, they gave him a bit too much knockout power on the ground because he doesn't usually knock people out from the ground or get TKOs. It's usually a decision for him. But yeah. There we go. Try to transition to the mount. Oh. And there we go. On there. There we go. You're, you better do something about this, man, because you are. If you let me stay here, you are. Oh, nope, he did something. No, I'm not going to stay. Why would I want to stay half guard with him? Yeah, you caught it. I tried to mix it up a little bit. I think I might knock him out. Which is weird. I guess he does. He has been knocked down. His jaw. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Jeez, look at him. I guess he did get me cut. Get some really good opponents here in a minute. I hope I'm an expert. I think I am. Because most guys have been getting me good on stand up. Nope, oh, yep. I like it when they say that. I like how they say that about Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen's not the kind of guy that would keep going. Like, he would cause bad blood. But it's just so he can get get money. Four twelve. Chael P. We're recording for th almost thirty minutes now. I don't know if I want to just make this one continuous long. I think I will. I think I'm just going to call it like a... Like, let's play UFC uh, title mode full playthrough. I might chop it down later, but I don't think I'm going to put intros and outros. Uh, I'm going to regret not doing that if, uh, if it turns out that... Uh, have a, uh, a time limit on YouTube, but I, I did the thing where it texts me and makes sure I'm a real person. So, uh. So I think I have unlimited time. I'm not sure how that works, but I think I do. I was trying to look into it, I couldn't find anything. See, I'm trying to think if like newer videos of non unparked like people who aren't partnered at time limits. And I'm trying to think like I watch a guy uh, Necro VMX, Urban Legends of Gaming, and all that. His videos are always long. I don't know if he's partnered. I don't think he is. Uh, but he could be. Who else? Well, I guess that's true. I just thought about a uh, Dragon's Lair Pod or Prod or whatever it's called. Uh, who makes commercial failure and video game bunker? He usually makes longer videos, I think. I know he's kind of, but Halo. I think his Halo review was like 20 minutes long. But I don't know that that could still be time limit. You know, its time limit could be 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna have a time limit. If I do, then I'll, I'll have to cut this. Good thing I'm have a lot of pauses. This fight really happened, didn't it? L.A. Tudo. I'm not sure what that is. It's not one of the big ones. I'm not that. Oh. <laughs> they both are. Okay, then. Uh, one thing I hope is uh, neither MMA game has said it has done this yet. I hope the uh, the games, the new UFC EA, 
says what the record is and it can change in career mode. Like it'll say, you know, it'll it'll say your record. It doesn't seem like it'd be too hard to do. You know, just make Bruce Buffer say some numbers. Especially in the career mode. It's not like, you know, like anybody's going to have anything over 100. I don't know. I don't think Dan Severn. Well, I guess you can, you could, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it'd be easy enough to do. Even if it was in the 100s. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard Bruce Buffer say a number in the 100s. That'd be cool, though. Just has a professional record of 100 wins, 156 wins or something. That'd be, be weird. Dan Severn and shit. Oh, God. Fighting off my back. Michael Bisping, they made him wrestle a lot in this game. A lot more than he does, I think, in real life. He wrestles a little bit. He's got good takedowns, but he doesn't wrestle that much. Like he really tries to stick with uh with his with his striking, his boxing. His oh jeez. Brits don't usually have Oh, I didn't have those cool elbows I like. Brits don't have the best wrestling. That's just like well known. It's a boxing boxing place. You know, most Brits you see come into the UFC, they're all strikers, they're boxers, and kickboxers. Because that's just that's what's most popular there. Wrestling is starting to get a little bit bigger in uh, in uh, places like England, though. Oh, jeez. He's winning. He's got this round. Head kick, head kick. Moves, Eve Levine. I always wondered if the referees make a difference in this game. I'm not sure. It seems like they might. I hope in the uh, in the new game they make referees, you know, like Eve Levine. Oof. Calls fights a little too early or something. I'm like Herb Dean is like perfect. <laughs> I had a lot of ideas for a new UFC game, which would be like, they should have like an ultimate fighter mode where you take a guy through the ultimate fighter house. He has to train at the ultimate fighter house and fight to stay in. You know, that'd be a pretty cool way to do a career mode. And uh, so I was thinking, you know, it's so silly. It'd be a gimmicky mode, but you know, maybe like referee mode. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder because I, I was actually watching UFC. Uh, I think the last event they had. Maybe either the last event or the last pay-per-view. And I said Big John McCarthy was there. And he hadn't done a UFC event in a long time. But I guess Strike Force is out of business now. So, he, you know, if he wants to make the big money, he's got to go somewhere. I heard him and Dana had a falling out. But I just wonder if he's going to be in the new game. I also wonder, you know, are they still going to have Pride Mode? That'd be great. I'd love for them to still have Pride Mode. Have a... You know, another thing I wonder is, although it's a UFC game, if it had a pride mode, they, and couldn't they, uh, couldn't they do Fedor, you know, people like that? Randy Couture will definitely not be in the game. This will be another UFC game. He has never been in a UFC game. You've never been allowed to play as Randy Couture. Oof, got him. I just think that's funny, but he, he's, you know, him and Dana don't like each other now. Tito's not going to be in the game, I bet. Neither will Rampage, and that sucks. I like playing as Tito. I like the way his fights. I like the uh, great, great striking from Mount, or not Mount, but uh, uh, full guard. <laughs> they should have a headbutt. You know, we should have just like butted heads right there and just knocked each other out. I've always looked for an actual double knockout in this game, and I haven't found one. They always have those like knockout knockdowns. He's gonna stand us up. See, that seemed like it was a little quick. I don't know if, if every referee would do that or if it's just Evil Levine. Uh, got kick. Yeah, you thought I was going for the body. Tricked you. Yeah, 
Taking it out. Oh, jeez. Yep. I tend to more than anything get stop stoppages in the second round unless I go for a submission. Submissions come usually when I get people dazed, but also just when I feel that it's the right time. I've crawled all over them for the entire fight. You know, they're tired. Go for submission while they're uh, while they're stamina's low. But when I get a knockout or a TKO, it's always always the second round. Not always, of course, but it just seems like that. That's usually, usually when I get it. Something about my fighting style, but I have different fighting styles for different fighters. Cause uh, I like when I do Anderson. I just do weaves, so much we, so many weaves, and, and yeah, I just duck and weave and constantly, and then just hit him with one counter. You can do that five or six times you got him dazed we get him dazed then I throw a big cool shot you know throw a front kick or something I think one of my favorite knockouts to get in the game is like when you when you hit him with a big uh, big punch and then follow directly up uh, with a kick before they can even put their hands back up uh, I think that's a really cool way to get a knockout I didn't even listen to 49 into the second Pretty much halfway, exactly halfway to, through the fight. Almost. Mark Munoz, Alan Belcher. Who's a champion? Not Anderson. Vitor. Vitor is a little hard to fight in the game because he's so, so fast. But they gave him, they, they didn't give him good jujitsu. They gave him all right jujitsu, but it's, it's, you don't have to worry about it. When, now you watch Vitor fight, like in real life nowadays, you do gotta worry about his jujitsu. Especially if you're a good striker or something, he'll pull, pull guard constantly. But like he did with uh, John Jones, he just kept pulling guard. He's fighting uh, Dan Henderson. Mark Munoz. If only they had a, uh, a stepping elbow. I think they do, actually. Not, not, not Chael, of course, but uh, I think Uriah Faber has one. A couple others, I'm sure. Mark Munoz is actually cool to fight with. Uh, he's got hammer fists, and I think he's got the stepping jab. I like fighting as him, though. I like his wrestling. I hope this is exciting to watch. Uh, I know I've kind of worked all these guys over. I'm doing my best to keep it entertaining. Like I said, this is my very first, very first Let's Play-ish thing I've ever done. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not fantastic at it or anything. Never tried talking to myself for this long. I don't usually talk to myself at all. But, all right. Mark Munoz, I think, might be the first really challenging opponent. Oh, Jesus, always dropped me. Oh, already dropped me, rather. Go around the back. Oh, I was going to try to hit him with a suplex. Come on. I like that punch, the little hook thing. Suplex. I hate it when you trip, and and they put you on your, they put you in mount. Well, it puts them on top of you in mount. That's like the worst feeling. I think I've lost more fights in mount than in anything else. Them on top of me in mount. It's just awful. Oof. This is not a good start for Munoz here. Yeah, he did, actually. I guess because he caught the punch. I hate to just do the same thing over and over again, but you don't have too many options when you're in mount. You know, you kind of just want to hold them out and posture up when you can and 
that got through. I gotta mix that up a little bit. Not do the throw right away. I thought you were gonna be uh, hard, Munoz. Kind of getting worked over though. Oh god, I hate that. That would have been clean too if I. Uh, that probably would have knocked him out if I got him when he was coming in. It wasn't a body shot, that was a knee to the head. Jeez, he kind of got me there at the end. I think I won that that round, but uh, yeah, he, he kind of beat up on me there at the end. I think I'm going to do a full Let's Play of Bully. I want to do Grand Theft Auto 4, but I don't have it. And I, th I was thinking about doing the DLCs because I have the, uh, what is it, episodes from Liberty City. Because I always get that confused with this, Liberty City stories and everything. So I'm thinking I might do uh, do Bully, then do Grand Theft Auto 4 at another time, and do the, the DLCs. I want to do Grand Theft Auto 5 because there's plenty of Grand Theft Auto 5 content coming out right now. So there'd be no real point in me doing so. I guess it'd be popular, you know. A lot of people would be looking for it. But, I don't know. Grand Theft Auto 4 seems like what I'd rather do. I think I might... I, I don't know. See, that's confusing. I like everything else about Grand Theft Auto 5 better than Grand Theft Auto 4, but I like the story of Grand Theft Auto 4 more. I don't know. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 story just seems a little... I don't know, maybe a little bit more shallow. I don't know, I think Michael had a really excellent story. But it was also, I, it felt shorter, I guess, because there's three separate campaigns put into one. Uh, I don't know, it just seemed a little... Not, not, as, not as good. And I am, of course, the minority in that thinking. Because every, everybody seems to like Grand Theft Auto five more and I do gameplay and, and graphics of course but it's it, not just graphics because they're better graphics as they will be you know four or five years later whatever it is uh, not just that but you know they're, they're just prettier they're not as, as dark and yeah they're realistic but not in like the way that just makes everything brown Although I thought Grant, when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, I thought those graphics were amazing. Oh. I thought that would daze him when I jumped on him. I figured they'd stand us up. Herb Dean. I guess they have to stand him up a little bit quicker in this game than in real life, so that, you know, because the clock runs faster. Well, you strike a lot faster in this game. You're not faster, but more. You tend, you tend to throw more strikes because it's just it's arcadey. But that was actually a problem, I thought, in MMA is that they had it, uh, you know, the clock shouldn't have gone as fast as this game, but it should have gone faster because it was so hard to get a decision in that game and I do like sometimes getting a decision mixing it up remember the first time we've gotten like three split decisions in this game it's as long as I've played I've never gotten a draw I've always wanted to draw too like like every time I get a decision and I feel like it was a close fight I'm like oh come on be the draw be the first draw if it happened a lot I'd be mad when I got a draw but it's never happened to me I just remember that I, one reason I don't like Chael Sonny, he doesn't have very many sweeps from the ground. Oh, fucking amazing. Uh, oh, Jesus. 
That was awesome. <laughs> oh. That was nice, if I do say so myself. And I do. 45 minutes. I don't know. I might just. If it, if it goes on for an hour, I'll chop it into two parts, I think. I don't know. I'm still figuring all this out. Did his mouthpiece come out? No. I also like it when you when they can't stand up after a knockout. It's a lot more realistic. I don't know why they made. I guess a lot of people were complaining about flash knockouts, and I did too. But until they were gone, once they were gone, I was like, well, it's unrealistic to to just constantly, you know, you just had to beat up on them until you knock them out. You know, there are flash knockouts in this game, but they're not not very common. And is it like whenever they can't get up out of after a uh, after a knockout, is that mean it's a? I don't have to fight Anderson. Does that mean it was a flash? Like even if their head is at a hundred, like it would have been a flash. Even if uh, even if their head was at zero, um, I've always wondered that. I'm not an expert at this game. I just play it way way too much. You know, thinking about it, I don't know why I chose to play as Chael. Vandy. Actually, this is a real fight, isn't it? It's not... No one's confirmed it yet, but Chael Sonnet's asking for it, and... Vandy, I'm not sure if he said no or what happened. I know that, sh that, that Rashad stepped in, but I don't know if Vandy was going to fight him or not. I think Vandy should fight whoever is offered, especially with a high-ranked guy like this, just accept the fight. It's not like, you know, like, this, he could be your ticket to at least getting the shot at the title. You know, I could see Vandy beating Chael and then getting a title shot just because it's Vanderlei Silva and it's the only chance he's ever going to have. And don't get me wrong, I love Vanderlei, all, all the stuff in Pride. He's one of my favorite fighters of all time, but, you know, realistically, he's not going to fair and square just make his way through the ranks up to the title shot that's so unrealistic that'd be such a surprise if he did do that Vanderlei though is the same he, he's got the same thing I say about Lieben is that he can lose you know he's close to retirement just like I think uh, Chris Lieben is and he can uh, he could lose as much as he wants he's still going to have a good record you know by the time he retires you know because it's, it's not that far off just like with Lieben both of them, you know, they they could lose every fight until their retirement. Their retirement's so close that they're not going to have a bad record. You know, 37 and 13, that's not his real life. His record is, what is it, like 35 and 13 or 34 and 13? 35 and 14? I'm not sure. I know in this game, when this game came out, it was 33 and 11, but he's fought. He fought Stan. And I know he, he had to have fought somebody before that, but I can't remember. Because he lost to somebody before that, didn't he? Uh, I, know, I don't know how much I want to stand with Vandy. I just don't want to get... I know I don't want to get caught in, in, in the clinch with Vanderlei. Seven in a row. I fought seven times already. I didn't know these fights took so long. Especially, I haven't gotten a decision yet. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Get out of the clinch. Get out of the clinch. I don't want to be here at all. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, good God. And he fucking snuffed it. Jeez, he's beating me. You, I'm the one that needs chance. I'm the one getting beat. All right, big takedown. Yes. All right. Apparently, Vanderlei can beat me standing up. He's gonna get me off of him too. This is when it's getting hard. If I'm gonna lose to anyone, I do not want to lose to Vanderlei. And can I like the guy? This isn't even pride, Vanderlei. I'd accept that, but this is no jaw, Vanderlei.
Yeah. Vanderlei. I always wondered how good a jiu-jitsu Vanderlei is because he's a black belt, but he never uses it. I always wondered if, if, if Vanderlei decided to throw up a... Uh... Oh, fuck. Okay. Anyway, I've always wondered if Vanderlei went for a submission, how well he would do. You know, maybe not against, I think, Damian Maya. <laughs> you know, could out, out jujitsu him, but, you know. Is he training with the Noguera brothers? Does he train with Anderson? Because Anderson's trained by the Noguera brothers. I can't remember. Isn't Shogun? Shogun trains with... With Vandy, so if Shogun's trained by the Nogara brothers, then I guess they all train together. I'm not sure. Is Vandy part of Black? I guess, yeah. What is it? Black House? Is that what it is? Black House MMA? Or ju Black House Jiu Jitsu or MMA or something like that. Protect my head. Yeah, that's right, because he just won that round, I think, with the stand up. He was on top of me for a little bit. He got up. I couldn't even push him off. He got up himself. I was hearing a lot of stuff that this capture card was going to have lag. I haven't noticed anything. I think it lag like every now and then it'll sort of lag, but not really. I I haven't had a problem. Like, touch, touch. Like, yeah. Touch the button. It seemed to be... I guess I shouldn't say that so that if I lose... I can blame it on lag. <laughs> uh, it's going to make me have to play like I don't know how to play this game. Play exciting. <laughs> People, this will be the most exciting fight ever. Oh, I absolutely dropped him. Oh, and pulls me into mount. This might be it, sir. You can't have too much left in you. Oh, and he still has it in him to push me off. Oh, I just want to get him off me. Oh, come on. Thank you. Jesus. Now I'm nervous because dirty box from that position. Maybe in real life, not this game. I'm really nervous now though because he, he's. There's no way I'm not hurt. Oh, come on, I gotta be able to to sweep. I gotta be able to sweep. Oh, just do it. Thank you. Get him up against Cage. No? Okay. I really am nervous, too. That is not what I want. I'm going to lose. Oh, thank God. So glad I got out of that position. It's all this lag that's making me lose. That's not true at all. I'm losing because I don't know. Oh, Jesus. This would be fine of the night. Wow. And if it goes to decision, I th well, I guess I got him dazed a bunch in that round, so that would count for something. But Jesus, good fight so far. Keep it up. You've had him rocked, and you're not following up. Don't let him recover. I don't want to. Yeah, if the video quality in this is bad, I'm, I apologize. I haven't figured out everything. I don't know if it's going to be bad or not, but man. He did a lot better than I thought he would. 
<laughs> like I came into the first round thinking, okay, it's Vanderlei, it's pushover. What if this is how the real fight went? Like it was just the most exciting fight ever. And Vanderlei held in, hung in there. That'd be amazing. I honestly, if they, when this fight, if it ever happens, uh, I'm gonna be going for Vanderlei because of you know fanboyism. That's not because I dislike Chael Sonnen. I was going for Chael Sonnen over Shogun. And I'll be going for Chael Sonnen over Rashad. Uh, you got to watch those, uh, those short punches. Wow. Short punches in the clinch will get you. Hit him with counters. <sighs> yes, that's what I was talking about. The big punch and then the head kick right after before they can do anything. I hit him in the back of the head twice. Wow, that was... That was a pretty... Yes, yeah, son, and that's right. You know who you're cheering for. Trying to think who my favorite fighter in the game is to play as. <laughs> Smart Paul Harris is definitely one of them. Just thinking about it, I really like him. Uh, when it comes to wrestling, I like Chael and I like St. Pierre. I never play as John Jones, uh, whether I like him in real life or not. He's just too overpowered. It's not fair. Uh, I play as Van or as Anderson sometimes, just so I can. You know, when I want to weave a lot, I'll play as uh, I'll play as Anderson. You know, just to play around, try to get the best knockout I can. That was a really good knockout. Is that the second one in a row? Yeah, I think it was the second head kick knockout. That was definitely the the toughest fight I've had so far. I was I was honestly afraid in that second round that I was going to drop. Because I'm not good at recovering on the ground, like, at all. Like, I can't, I'm not good at catching punches. And it seems like whenever somebody knocks me down, all they have to do is hit me twice and I'm out. Because I'm just not that great at it when I get in trouble. Yeah, look at that. He well, even had more st stamina than me, which is weird. I guess, I don't know, number one contender shot, though. And Vitor is still champion. I was hoping somebody a little bit easier might have come in. I don't know. You know... I'm thinking about it. You know who's one of the hardest people to fight in the game? Because John Jones isn't all that hard to fight in the game. You know you know what he's going to come out and try to do, so it's easy to just try to, to avoid that. Because I remember one of my favorite things I've ever done is I've knocked him out as a... Uh, Forrest Griffin. I think hard people to fight. It's like Clay Weed is hard to fight. Benson Henderson's hard to fight. Donald Cerrone's hard to fight. <laughs> all lightweight division. Uh, Frankie Edgar is hard to fight too. Who else is hard to fight? St. Pierre is a little hard to fight, not really. Anderson's kind of easy to fight as long as you're a good wrestler. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm just smoking a cigarette. I've been doing that in between these. Just every time it comes time to fight, I'll put out the cigarette and continue smoking it. After I complete a fight. Look at Dana. You know, I think better now more than ever, they should have a fight between uh, a casual pose. Yeah, Chael's angry. I hope they, uh, they keep... All the, I was just going to say that I hope now more than ever Tana and Tito fight, but uh, but uh, I hope they keep the, all this like presentation stuff, all the great entrances, because that's something that MMA, EA's MMA definitely lacked in, was just the presentation, how fights are presented, um, what all you could do, you know. Like, they took out something from UFC Undisputed 10, which I liked, which was the post-fight interviews. Yeah, they were a little bland. But rather than trying to, to fix them, you know, make them even better, they just took them out altogether. I hate it when game developers do that. Well, they have an alright idea, but they can't. Ex they don't execute it right, so they just take it out rather than trying to fix it. 
and they did that, and I, you know, I liked the uh, poet. It was just Im immersive, you know, it made you feel more like a real fighter. I own all three of them, all three UFCs. I actually, uh, when I first got my Xbox, because uh, I've, I've had a few Xboxes, when I first got this Xbox that I'm, I have now, I got UFC 10. Uh, or no, 9. And then I got UFC 3 right when it came out. Because uh, I think I got 10 cause, or 9 because it was like at a pawn shop and it was real cheap. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get it. I like these games. And then I got 3. And then I got 10 recently just so I could have all 3 because I like that. I have like every, every Grand Theft Auto for the... I have 3 through 5 in Grand Theft Autos. And I have uh, like... D Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance through the new one. I like that. And uh, I actually have Crash 2, Crash Team Racing, and uh, Twin Sanity, and uh, it was the one before that, Wrath of Cortex. And I'm, I'm or I've just ordered Crash 1 and 3. Because whenever I own a game in a franchise, I like to own the whole franchise, especially... When it's like, I'm okay if I just own the first one. Like, I only own Sly Cooper 1. I'm just, just something I'm looking at right now. I just own Onimushi 1. Onimusha. Um, so that's okay. Because of the first one in the franchise. Um, but I will eventually get the rest of them. Or like Resident Evil 1 is one that I... Like, I own Resident Evil 4, 5, Operation Raccoon City, and 6. Uh... Which I don't like those games. Other than four and five, is it's okay for what it is. But as a Resident Evil game, it's not very good. But I have that, and I and I want to get all the PlayStation. Oh, I have Code Veronica, but I don't have a physical copy. I wish I did. I wish I had Code Veronica X for the uh, PS2, but I only have the HD re-release with uh, Mortal Kombat 4. I have both. Hey, Resident Evil 4, and I wanted to play through it again. And then I heard about the the HD release and I was like oh, that'll be an excuse to play it again so I just waited for that and I I got it actually I think my friend bought it for me as a present he like let me use his credit card it was about a year ago I wasn't even paying attention I was just throwing punches just now see I don't really want to go to the ground with him yet I want to try to work him over on the feet hurt him on the feet and go to the ground with him when I feel like I'm in trouble. But I seem to be doing pretty good. So this is how I fight with like someone like Vanderlei. It's just constant, constantly moving forward and, and putting pressure. Which is a, it can be a very good way to fight and a very bad way to fight. And apparently this time it's a very good way to fight. Is this going to be it? Oh, that would have been nice if I just knocked him out right there. You know, you can put me, push me off. I'll keep standing with you for a little bit. They seem to get better after they get rocked, though. They seem to, like, start to fight better. He's not, though. This is it. He's out. First round knockout. See, that's how I fight when I just want to win. That's... Uh, just... Yeah. I don't like fighting like that, though. I feel like that's the most boring way to fight when you just go forward the entire time. Which probably people are going to disagree with me a lot, but you know, I, I guess this is it. I might do another one of these eventually, just play through that. And I, I might do the career mode because there's like one or two, maybe, career mode let's plays. Uh, I think one guy did two. That was like Xbox Milk, I think his name was. I hope these guys don't mind me saying the name of their channel. I like that guy too. Uh, so I hope these guys don't mind me saying the name of their channel on this. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything bad about anyone's channel. Uh, at least not now. <laughs> and these are all, all, everyone I've mentioned, Nintendo Capri Sun and uh, Necro and this, I think his name's Xbox Milk. Uh, all make good qu content and on this channel that I'm using, I don't have them subscribe. I have Nintendo Capri Sun and Necro subscribe. I'm subscribed to them. But not that Xbox Milk guy, but on my other one, the one that I use to just watch videos, I've got them all subscribed. I got like 200 subscriptions on that channel. <sighs> I 
we'll never, we'll most likely never hear that. <laughs> we'll probably never hear Sonnen is any champion. But we can dream. I'd like him to be champion once before he retires. But I'd like Vanderlei to be champion once before he retires. I want Dan to be champion once before he retires. That was kind of, I was just thinking about what happened to Dan with the whole not getting to fight John Jones. And then now he's, he's not in the rankings anymore to fight John Jones. Yep. What a long road it's been. How long did this video go on for? An hour and five. See, I don't know if I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do if I'm gonna chop it into bits and pieces or what. But, uh... Yeah, that's it. Let's go back through. Took me eight fights. Don't, don't even have to scroll to see. Yeah, I guess I do. Uh, Court McGee. Didn't go to decision once. I was fighting a little bit more active than I usually do. Uh, cause you know I didn't want to make didn't want to make it a snooze fest the entire time. I don't know how to end a video. Uh, Thanks anyone who watches this. Thank you very much. This is my very first video. Uh, I hope it was entertaining enough. I'm glad I've recorded everything. And thanks so much, and anyone who's watching this. And that's it. That guy that's online is in the other room. He's my roommate. He's been thinking about doing this Let's Play thing, too. Well, thanks, everyone, so much, and uh, bye. <laughs>